kind of safe to say that if it had that little fat record on the back and stuff, it was going to be a good band. I was the kid that turned all of my friends on to punk rock, and I did that through Fat Records bands. My name is Ryan Green. I'm a producer, engineer, and mixer. I produced many of the Fat Records bands through the mid-90s. Before the internet, all you could do is really just kind of uh, learn about a label and buy everything that that label put out. Get the Fat Records sound. It's, it's unique. When Fat Records started, the sound that they had on their label was their own sound. There was the Epitaph sound and there was the Fat Records sound. It's a style. It became its own style. If you weren't there, you know, it's okay. Things aren't better then or now. They're just different. I think that I think Fat Mike is like a legacy in himself, and he must be a good businessman. So at an early age, I already knew that like Fat Mike was ahead of all of us with business. Sometimes people may feel that it was done off the cuff. Everything was calculated. Mike is a very smart man. I think that's what I called it, fat punk. And he said to me, I'm glad that that is a thing.